For centuries, farmers have endeavored to bring the harsh, arid lands of the Middle East to life. Successive generations flooded the desert, allowed it to dry out, and then flooded it again in an endless effort to have their crops flourish, always with the hope that a more sustainable way could be found. Born in Los Angeles in 1930, Daniel Hillel was just one year old when following his father's death, his family embarked on a voyage halfway around the world to Palestine. At an early age, Daniel was sent to live on a kibbutz where he first learned to love and respect the land. And I remember myself as a child of eight or nine years of age, holding a little spade and directing the frothing waters uh, running along a ditch uh, to these thirsty plants as the water was seeping into this dry soil and softening the clods. This fascinated me. After earning a master's degree at Rutgers University before the age of 20, Daniel returned to the new nation of Israel in 1951. There, he became involved in drawing the first maps of the country's water and soil resources for the Ministry of Agriculture. Daniel next joined a small group of pioneers on an adventure that would alter the course of his life. He moved to a nascent agricultural settlement, Ste Boker, in the desert of the Negev Highlands, an area that had not been agriculturally productive for centuries. The work was hard and the area dangerous at times. But as he studied the water and soils, Daniel Hillel gradually learned to understand the dry climate and desolate land. Then, a chance meeting with David Ben-Gurion, the first Prime Minister of Israel, would launch Daniel Hillel's global career. We were working, building a barn, when we suddenly saw a convoy of military vehicles, and among the military vehicles was a black limousine chugging through the dust on the unpaved road. It was a dirt road. And suddenly, this entire convoy stopped and out stepped this man with frizzy white hair, whom we instantly recognized as David Ben-Gurion. Ben-Gurion, who later became a member of Ste Boker, sent Daniel to help establish agricultural programs in Burma as part of one of Israel's earliest development assistance programs. Returning to Israel, Daniel earned a doctoral degree in soil physics and ecology at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. He became one of a group of experts in soil, water, and irrigation that were developing what would become a radical transformation of the technology by which water is delivered to crops. As a result of those studies and collaborations, the power of micro-irrigation was unleashed. These pioneering experiments would revolutionize food production in challenging climates. The sustainable methods that Dr. Hillel and others developed saved water, increased crop yields, and minimized environmental degradation. United States Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, speaking at the ceremony to announce Dr. Hillel as the 2012 laureate, spoke of the importance of Dr. Hillel's achievements. For 40 years, Dr. Hillel has worked to solve this problem by bringing his micro-irrigation techniques to the driest and least hospitable growing climates on Earth, from Israel to Pakistan to Sudan. Today, farmers using micro-irrigation produce high-yield, nutritious crops on more than six million hectares worldwide. Dr. Hillel's work will become even more important as we grapple with how to feed the world's growing population. Throughout his career, Daniel Hillel worked for international agencies and organizations, including the United Nations Food and Agricultural Organization, the International Atomic Energy Agency, the World Bank, and the United States Agency of International Development. Of particular note is Dr. Hillel's work on the ground in other countries in the Middle East, such as Egypt and Jordan, as well as in Palestinian communities. In these endeavors, 
Dr. Hillel has always emphasized his desire to promote peace, reaching across political, ethnic, and cultural boundaries to help improve the lives of all people. Science knows no boundaries. It does not recognize nationalities. It does not recognize borders. Science is universal. As one of the great scientists of a pioneering generation, for his tremendous leadership, insights, and achievements over five decades in bringing life to the desert so crops may flourish, it is truly fitting that we honor Dr. Daniel Hillel of Israel as the 2012 World Food Prize Laureate.